Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Today it's raining. I'm jonesing to go fishing, but it ain't gonna happen. So what I got in front of me is that uh, little, uh, gonna be a square build crankbait that I uh, shaped on the uh, lathe and that I showed on a couple of uh, on a video a couple of videos back. Anyway, I wanted to make a comment, ask a couple questions, and say thank you to everybody. First of all, everybody who's watching and uh, everyone who's uh, commenting on the on the videos and giving me some positive feedback and ideas quite frankly uh, thank you to all of you really and uh, I point out that you know this pretty small little group <laughs> there's uh, today as of today we got uh, 80 subscribers or 88 subscribers um, I don't ever expect to have a mega channel or anything I would like to get to a thousand because YouTube doesn't even know you exist unless you have at least a, a thousand subscribers. So hopefully that's a, a that's a, an achievable goal. But in the meantime, this is a pretty tight little group. And if everyone out there is really in, is actually interested in, in lure making and, and the kind of modifications and things that I do, it's a really good opportunity to share and and make comments and make suggestions. And we, you know, you have like this communal uh, attempt of, at solving problems if you've got something you're having a hard time doing with your lure making certainly we could you know get everybody to it's almost like a a, a, a video forum so feel free to, to comment ask questions or make suggestions or uh, or even um ask for some help uh i don't have all the answers obviously but i certainly have the wherewithal to try to find them uh, it's really what I love to do so um, so with that let me say that I, uh, one of my subscribers suggested a color for this and I, I thought about it a little while and I I never have painted one um, what did he suggest pumpkin squash he's got a little channel goes by the name of um, breathe and squeeze I believe if I remember right um, Anyway, suggested that I paint this pumpkin squash. Now, I've never even owned a lure uh, pumpkin squash. I, I had to actually look it up. <laughs> so, um, but I like the color. I really do. And I, I thought that would be something really cool to try. The rest of the video is going to be painting this lure. But I'll also put uh, a clear coat on it. My UV chamber is nowhere closer to <laughs> being done. So it's not going to be UV clear coated. It'll be standard two-part epoxy clear coated, which is fine. So first, let me tell you how I sealed this. First, I gave it a good sanding uh, down to about 400 grit. And then I dipped it in a water-based uh, polyurethane uh, and gave it like three dips and sanded it back a little bit. Uh, and that's about it. First step is to give it a good coat of opaque white. got a nice white base to work from as you can see it's still a little wet obviously but what I'm gonna go from here I'm gonna put a, a metallic silver and that's really gonna be just the, the very very base of my paint job work my way out from the metallic uh, uh, and layer in opaque paints and transparent paints and I think with that I can get a little bit of a some depth and a little holographic kind of view Pumpkin squash is a combination of green, orange, and yellow. Uh, I'm gonna go with a, a, a deep, deep green on top, fading into lighter greens, and then orange. What I'm gonna do with the orange is I'm gonna make a scale pattern out of the orange, and then we'll go into a, a deep yellow, and then the very bottom will be a very light, bright, sort of parakeet yellow. Here's my first layer, Wicked Aluminum. transparent yellow just because I want to get it give it a little bit of a, a gold effect and you can see it kind of gold going gold and I'm going to come all the way up the side with it and you see how nice 
it kind of goes gold. This is opaque. I, I want to go ahead and paint the belly opaque yellow. On the next color. Next color is transparent green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the, the transparent green just to give it a little bit of a combination color here uh, and then I'm going to go over that with this opaque uh, apple green. I'll dry that. I'm going to put a orange, an orange um, scale pattern over all that and then I'll, cup on, uh, I'll fade in a dark line here of moss green. Alrighty then, it's ready for that scale pattern. It's uh, quite the cluster. These lures that are this round that have these tight uh, compound curves. Really hard to get these uh, netting around. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit it with orange. moss green on the very top I'm gonna to make a just a fine line pretty hard and then let it kind of spread just a little I don't want it to go down the sides thing all right let's do it tail first you know what let's get let's use this green around the eye a little bit and then I'll put a little little strike eye behind it Put a little dot behind the eye. Just to give it a little bit of a something to break up the, that unnatural color. <laughs> so just move to this side. Move my way out. That just gives it that little bit of a tone. And we'll put another dot right. Right there. Kind of like that one. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to give it a little more darkness up front. Now, a little red on the chin. Some eyeballs and some clear coat. up put eyes on and clear coat it that'll do it so I'm going to let this set and then I'll put the bill in 
and then I'll take some nice photographs and I'll post those photographs at the end of this uh, at the end of this video and then uh, we'll see how it does in the water thanks for watching